it I don't think the footage is gonna do it justice and I don't reckon what we're talking you, you've got to once in your life you got to come here and experience this part two Caesar leave Swansea and head up the East Coast the East Coast is full of hidden gems lagoons and some of the most amazing beaches we find some off the beaten tracks before we make our way to St. Helens for a bit of a rest and top up fuel. Then, well, then we head inland to Launceston. <laughs> and now, gee, that was fun. Alright, morning of day two. We're up. Another awesome day. They look all right. Might have to, might grab the towel, give them a bit of a wipe, but um, it's pretty busy, pretty busy motel. Ah, Dave's got a rose left on his bike. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I don't know if I got a rose. No, no rose. We're gonna ride into town, grab a coffee. Hopefully the cafes are open, it's about quarter to eight. Um, by the time we get packed up and going, it'll be after eight, so they should be. But then we'll make our way to St. Helens. It's about an hour up along the east coast. We will probably, there's, there's heaps of beautiful lagoons. Um, see you, Rose. <laughs> I wonder why no one left the rose on my bike. Ready, Dave? Ready. Let's drop and roll. Let's, let's hit the road. Get something out of St. Helens? Yeah, it's an hour. It's 8 30 on a Sunday morning. Nothing open. I mean, grant that there's only two cafes in Swansea. They're not open. Um, can't get a coffee. Not the best start to the day, but. It's not all that bad. We're in Tassie on the bikes. <laughs> Can't complain. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, we didn't have to ride too far. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Bacino, I think. Bacino. I, I don't know, I think we haven't been on the bike half an hour. This town is beautiful. Quicker than, I thought we were going to ride for an hour and a half. Oh, that's right, it was probably, what, 10, oh, probably 20 minutes? Hey, I love Porsche school. Yeah. Coffee and Pacino. Yeah. Gino. <laughs> Gino. What is it? How is it? It's alright. Yeah. Best coffee I've had all day. I'll tell you something. That is the cheapest coffee I've had in about 10 years. It, this place must be behind the times, which is good for us. Seventy-seven Ks, but 
over the next 77 k's we're gonna have heaps of little towns like the one we're in now we're gonna pull over and just have a bit of a quick look around why not we're not in a rush We just saw a um, track. I think it leads to the beach. We'll give it a go. I don't think it's a private property. Let's go have a look. We're in St. Helens, all filled up. Just there's a bakery across just behind us, so we're just gonna grab sausage roll or something. The next the next bit's all inland, off-road, I don't think. It's 150 Ks and I doubt we're gonna come across much. So we'll just fuel the bikes and fuel ourselves. So where is it? This is this next section. Yeah, it's a bit of an unknown. So it's three, two stops before Launceston. 44 k's to the first stop, yep. then about 30 k to the second, and, and then, then 120. 120 yeah. um, we're gonna. Instead of continuing up the east coast and getting to Gladstone and coming around the top, we're just going to go in yeah, well, to well. Launceston. So. Yeah, good morning, how are you? So that's the top of Tassie. So we could continue going up to Gladstone, which is just there. That would be all bitumen, but going through the middle, more like a state forest. Uh, that's why we brought the Hondas and not the Harleys. We want to do some exploring. Ready to explore?
like this is the dam. It's supposed to. I think we're at the dam. The dam wall. Can't hear anything, I don't. Know. Just having a last rest stop before Launceston. We're we're about 30 k's out of Launceston. We've done about we've done since St Helens about 140 kilometres. Most of that's been off on the dirt, um, so we've been standing up, which has been good. Break it up a bit. All right, we just checked in. Mate, it's a cool little place where we are. It's got that real, um, I don't know, different, what do you call, you know, like that Austrian feel, European. Take a look inside that. I don't know if you can tell, but that step is not compliant. It's about 400 mil high. Wouldn't want to be an old lady, but. There's a swimming pool too. There's a bit of a shower in here. One bed here. Balcony. This is old man. This is real old. But at least we got a balcony to have a cigar, Dave. So what do we got over here? Three. All right. Well, we'll unpack. I'm going to probably get out of this riding gear, maybe put a pair of jeans on, and then we'll go into town and grab, grab a beer, I reckon, Dave. Just found a little, a nice pub. Parked the bikes just up the road. What beer did you get? Vic. We had to uh, lock the steering though. I'll stop you.
How'd you get down there? It's not entry. I'm a ninja. You're underground. I just, I just pulled the keys out of my pocket, and um, dropped a note that the my kids left me. Dave went and grabbed it. That's that's a good brother. That's good. Well, we just had a good, a great feed at um. It's called La Cantina at in Launceston. Yeah, so we had pizza, pasta, had a nice bowl of wine. It was chockers, it was busy, it's a Sunday night, it was, wasn't was a seat free. And it was it was awesome. Like, no complaints? No, it was good. I'd get it again. You go again? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we'd go again. I'm actually, I will be coming back to Tassie um, later this year with the family so I, I reckon it's worth it's worth another another crack La Cantina in Launceston all right well that's it for today um, gonna just settle in unwind enjoy a cigar and then tomorrow Jacob's Ladder It's that time of the night, cigar time. Dave's got the tunes. The best part of the ride, cigars. Well, it's it's a time that we reminisce about the ride. Um, mate, we've had an amazing couple of days. Amazing. We're just talking through some of the riding, the roads, um, the different scenery. Tassie, unreal. What do you sum up Tassie in three yeah, words? It's been good. It's uh, definitely been the highlight of my year. Morning of Monday, last last day in Tassie. We catch the ferry tonight. We had a good night's sleep, which was good. Good um, solid eight hours. Must have been tired, now we're just loading the bike. How'd you sleep, Dave? Yeah, that no, was good, probably the best night's sleep on that for a while. Found our spot for coffee. Let's go in, Dave. Coffee's on the bike. Today, after brekkie, we'll fuel up and then we'll head out to Jacob's Ladder. Looking forward to that. I was just having a chat. Noticed the parking inspector outside. We didn't put any money in them either. He tells me he doesn't book bikes. <laughs> that good's Tassie. What a gorgeous day. 28 degrees apparently. We're, um, we're all filled up, both us and the bikes. So next step, uh, next destination, Jacob's Ladder, Hill Climb. So we're about, it's about 60 k's out of Launceston. It says here, it's about an hour. So we're just making our way out of, out of the city now and out into the, um, into the hills, which would be nice because it's starting to warm up a fair bit. So hopefully under the shelter of a few trees, it's not gonna be as hot. All right. Just pulled over, just on, on our left for the last couple of k's, there's this awesome river rapid. This is the safest spot I could find to pull over. 
I mean the the flow of water has sort of calmed down a little but have a look at this what an awesome little find I tell you what I might have said this in the vlog earlier but I I can't believe the amount of animals wildlife that have unfortunately met their end there's so much roadkill it's it's unbelievable like I I, I don't know I've I've done a fair amount of riding um, you know you see the odd kangaroo or you know little wallaby or something but here my god there's I, I think you can't go a few hundred meters without seeing something squashed and, and it's not an issue too much for us we can see up ahead it's coming you know nine times out of ten you can smell it before you can see it it's, it's, um, it's pretty gross but we we're agile like we can we can we can get around it the problem is that every second bloke in Tassie is towing a bloody boat or caravan and they don't want to they don't want to drive over it so you know you come around the corner and sometimes they're on the white line sometimes they're on our side of the road and that's that's the thing it's 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 not so much the road kill it's about the oncoming traffic so yeah it's awesome but mate it's stood out the amount of road kill hasn't it Dave? Yeah. Uh, it's Let's get going. pretty high up. It says he's still got a couple of k's to go. Dave? Yeah, that is good. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's a decent drop. Looks like that's stuff. I'm looking at my navigation. We know it's coming soon. You can see all the turns. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, this is... Look at that, that's unbelievable. Just, that's too... We're probably going to ride through a cloud, just like we did about a month ago in in Mount Hotham, Victoria. Dave? Oh, no. yeah. two, two clouds in one month. All right, let's...
out. That's where we were. We we're about halfway, Dave. This is funny. But I thought I'd stop just to show you. We still got to go up. We'll be definitely right in through a cloud. My God, this is um, it it. I don't think the footage is going to do it justice, and I don't reckon what we're talking. You, you've got to once in your life, you've got to come here and experience this. But if you if you're worried about heights, I can tell you now, this is this is nuts. I, I'm I'm shooting myself right now. I don't want to get too close to the edge. We're at the watchtower corner. Every corner is named something else. Just since we've been here, the last probably two minutes, the cloud has come in and the visibility, I don't know, it'd be 100 metres if we're lucky. So I don't know what the footage will be like, but yeah, I'll leave the camera on and we'll see how we go. Like a ski village up here. Oh my god, oh, I'm over here. How'd you get up there? Good view. Can't see much today. Once in a lifetime. YOLO. You only live once. Get over here and do it. All right. We went into the one of the chalets behind us. It's sort of open to the public up here and there's toilets. It's, it's a real, it's actually state of the art. Must doesn't look like much from outside, but inside it's all brand new. It's beautiful, and it's good to get a bit of shelter because it's actually pretty cold up here today. Um, so different from down when we left Launceston. But um, we're going to cruise down now, make our way back to Launceston over the next hour, hour and a half. Um, it this is breathtaking. It is absolutely breathtaking up here. It's. Like I said, I don't think the footage or whatever Dave and I say is going to do it justice. You just you got to get up here once in your life. But you need um, it's all it's all unsealed, so you need either a vehicle or a um, an adventure bike like ours. Um, but it's well worth it, 100%. All right, let's head down.
So we can't. I tell you what, all you can see for the last few kilometers is just hectares and hectares and hectares of vineyard. Look at it. Back in Lawn System, we just had a nice beer. This is the final step now. We don't want it to end. I might just stay here for another week. We'll be back, that's for sure. Mark my words, we will be back. We'll probably bring um, the rest of the boys too. I got Dave's fave. Well, the trip has come to an end. We're back in, um, we've had dinner. We're in Devonport. In line, as you can see. line to board the ferry now it's only just after 7 p.m. we're not gonna leave till 9 ish but um, they're just gonna get us ready the, the ship's not even here yet so I think same on the return on the Friday when we left Geelong I reckon the ship didn't get in till about 8, just a bit after 8, so maybe an hour away. But look, I'd rather be here organised and early. And we've got all that paperwork. It was about 12 bikes when we came over, but on the way home, I don't know if you could see. There is about 150 bikes here already, and there's more coming. Looking for our recliner. Oh, I wonder how much storage space. Dave, how's the recliner? Have to spend have, 170 bucks and get a cabin. Have a look at this. Can't get my foot in.
that tall on my feet. Let's just leave them. Oh, sometimes I leave this work, sometimes I don't. We're gonna go downstairs. Hold on. It was a good sleep last night. 